Welcome to Tri-Church Worship. Many thanks to all who are assisting in worship leadership today, all those who are working with the technology to make this happen, all musicians, and the Emmanuel Bell Choir. We are the church together. Let us breathe deep and remember that we are in the presence of one who loves us and all of humanity fully and completely. Let us worship the Lord. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, whose teaching is life, whose presence is sure, and whose love is endless. Amen. Let us confess our sins to the one who welcomes us with an open heart, God our Comforter. Like lost sheep, we have gone astray. We graze upon abundance and see scarcity. We turn our faces away from injustice and oppression. We exploit the earth with our apathy and greed. Free us from our sin, gracious God. Listen when we call out for your help. Lead us by your love to love our neighbors as ourselves. Amen. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. By the gift of grace in Christ Jesus, God makes you righteous. You are forgiven. Receive with glad hearts the forgiveness of all of your sins and be made new. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and also with you. Let us pray. God, shape us into willing servants of your kingdom, 
and make us desire always and only your will. Awaken us to your love and presence. We worship you, O God of love. Amen. Please join in a responsive reading of Psalm 91, verses 9 through 16. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, no evil will befall you, nor shall affliction come near your dwelling. For God will give the angels charge over you to guard you in all your ways. Upon your hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. You will tread upon the lion cub and viper. You will trample down the lion and the serpent. I will deliver those who cling to me. I will uphold them because they know my name. They will call me and I will answer them. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. With long life will I satisfy them and show them my salvation. to 
stone, and he will raise you up on eagles' wings, bear you on the breath of dawn, make you to shine like the sun, and hold you in the palm of his Before we dive into our gospel text, let's ponder for a moment where we are at in the gospel of Mark. We're in Mark 10. Jesus is with the disciples teaching, blessing children, and reminding those who hear that the first will be last and the last will be first. Jesus goes on to make his third prediction of his suffering, death, and resurrection. Here is how that happened. They were on the road going up to Jerusalem, and Jesus was walking ahead of them. They were amazed, and those who followed were afraid. Jesus took the twelve aside again and began to tell them what was going to happen to him, saying, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes, and they will condemn him to death. Then they will hand him over to the Gentiles. They will mock him and spit upon him and flog him and kill him. And after three days, he will rise again. This brings us to our gospel text for today. The Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 10, verses 35 to 45. Glory to you, O Lord. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came forward to Jesus and said to him, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. And Jesus said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? And they said to Jesus, Grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? They replied, we are able. Then Jesus said to them, the cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. But to sit at my right hand or at my left hand, is not mine to grant, but it is for those for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard this, they began to be angry with James and John. So Jesus called them and said to them, You know that among the Gentiles, those whom they recognize as their rulers lord it over them and their great ones are tyrants over them. But it is not so among you. But whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, fishermen who left it all to follow Jesus. And follow Jesus, they had 
closely. They are in close relationship with Jesus, so close they seemingly feel the freedom to be honest with Jesus. Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you. Beloveds, I wonder, do we go as boldly to Jesus? Do we welcome such authentic relationship to speak so honestly and freely to God? Are we willing to be honest with God, ourselves, and others about our hopes, curiosities, and dreams, about the realities of life? I wonder, I wonder how often do you or I go about our days forgetting that God is with us, forgetting God's love, grace, forgiveness, ceasing to communicate with the one who never leaves us. How often do you or I live as if God does not exist? To be in relationship with others is to share intentional communication, care. It is to listen and share. It is to journey through life with one another. It is honesty. James and John, they model this for us. For they feel free to be so honest with Jesus. Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we ask of you, they say. And Jesus in love responds, what is it you want me to do for you? James and John go boldly and ask, grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory. Hmm. To sit one at the right and one at the left of Jesus in Jesus' glory. Now, glory is not a word we use a lot in our everyday language. And so I went ahead and looked it up. According to the dictionary, glory is high renowned or honor won by notable achievements. It is magnificence. It is fame, prestige, honor, distinction, kudos, acclaim, celebrity, praise, accolades, recognition, credit, and a great reputation. They want to sit at Jesus' right and left hand in glory. Notice how Jesus responds. Jesus communicates that they do not know what they are asking and asks, are you able to drink the cup that I drink or be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And James and John, the sons of thunder, as Jesus calls them, affirm, we are able and Jesus welcomes them to do so, saying, The cup that I drink, you will drink. And with the baptism with which I am baptized, you will be baptized. Jesus welcomes them into his ongoing ministry. I wonder if perhaps James and John had forgotten the three times that Jesus had shared about his coming, suffering, death and resurrection. Or perhaps maybe they were just so hopeful that it wouldn't be that they put it out of their minds. Or perhaps they do remember, but the glory they mention is seemingly a different glory than Jesus communicates. Maybe a glory that comes with power and triumph. We don't know. Nonetheless, Jesus asks if they will follow. And they agree, saying, we are able. 
<laughs> now, when the 10 other disciples hear that James and John have asked this of Jesus to sit at his right and left hand in glory, they are ticked. They are angry. Part of me wonders if it's because James and John were kind of speaking in a way that made them seem too big for their britches, or if they were angry because they wished they would have thought to ask Jesus that themselves first. Who knows? Jesus meets them all in reality in the midst of their upset with each other and challenges them once again. Whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant. Whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. The glory Jesus is about is a different kind of glory. The glory of serving others. Whoever wishes to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be slave of all. For the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Jesus had been serving in their midst and commends them to serve. Jesus is telling them again, that he will give his life and give his life Jesus did. Yielding to the people in power, suffering, dying, dying on the cross and rising, revealing a different kind of glory. The glory of the power of God at work bringing death to life, resurrecting the dead, resurrecting broken parts of our lives and welcoming us to be made whole and new, to work for the good of others, for justice and peace, to serve others in love. May we go boldly and authentically to God throughout each day, welcoming God to meet us in reality, welcoming love, forgiveness, God's presence, God's ability to make all things new. Welcoming God to open our eyes to what Jesus has done for us in his life, death, and resurrection. Welcoming God to open our eyes to what it is to serve. Granting us the courage to serve. Beloveds, God is with you and loves you madly, deeply, completely as you are, not as you wish you were or anyone tells you that you should be. God welcomes you to follow. Let us pray. Sweet Jesus, thank you for your love. Thank you for modeling for us what it is to serve. Thank you for giving your life. Thank you for conquering death and the grave. Thank you for making all things new. Give us courage to walk authentically with you. Give us courage to set ourselves aside and serve, to work for the good of all. In Jesus' name, amen. Those who are
set free from sin and death and nourished by the word of truth, we join in prayer for all of God's creation. Holy One, for the gift of the church handed down through the ages and for all who carry on the servant ministry of Jesus, we praise you. Send your Holy Spirit upon all who are discerning calls to ministry in its many forms and equip them with your gifts. Loving God, your will be done. Creating One, for the lush and abundant habitat you provide for all your creatures, we praise you. Provide healing for the earth so that waterfowl, reptiles, wild horses, dolphins, and all living things flourish as you intend. Loving God, your will be done. Suffering One, for all who work towards peace and who lead nations with a servant's heart, we praise you. Bring justice for all who suffer violence, persecution, discrimination, hunger, poverty, and homelessness, and create places of refuge for all people. Loving God, your will be done. Merciful one, for all who do the work of healing in mind, body, and spirit, we praise you. Surround and comfort all who struggle with depression, anxiety, cancer, diabetes, dementia, or any illness. May all be healed. Loving God, your will be done. Sustaining one, for all who volunteer for the vitality of these congregations, we praise you. Strengthen and encourage greeters and ushers, office volunteers, bakers, counters, committee and group leaders, teachers, students, evangelists, singers, builders, nurturers, and all who serve with generous hearts. Loving God, your will be done. Risen One, we thank you for those who have shaped out your church and shared your gospel. Through the witness of your saints, continue to inspire us with hope until we are all gathered at your eternal feast. Loving God, your will be done. Trusting you, we place our prayers spoken and unspoken and our very lives into your hands through Jesus Christ, our truth and life. Amen. The peace of Christ is with you always. Enjoy it and share it. How we live, move, act, and breathe in this world are all gifts from God. Thank you for sharing your gifts with this tri-church ministry that allows us to bring the good news of Jesus Christ into your homes. Thank you for sharing your time, your energy, and your physical gifts to help make this ministry possible. Let us pray together. God of abundance, you cause streams to break forth in the desert and manna to rain from the heavens. Accept the gifts you have first given us. Unite them with the offering of our lives to nourish the world you love so dearly. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God our thanks and our praise. Holy God, our bread of life, our table and our food, you created a world in which all might be satisfied by your abundance. You sent your son to eat with sinners and to become food for the world. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after supper, Jesus took the cup, gave thanks and gave it to all to drink saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray.
Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. All who hunger and thirst, come. The table is ready. The body of Christ given in love for you. The blood of Christ shed for you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord of life, in the gift of your body and blood, you turn the crumbs of our faith into a feast of salvation. Send us forth into the world with shouts of joy, bearing witness to the abundance of your love in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. People of God, you are Christ's body bringing new life to a suffering world. The Holy Trinity, one God, bless you now and forever. Amen.
Go in peace. The living word dwells in you. Thanks be to God. I want my life to make a difference. I want my life to make a change. I want my life to do some good here. I want my life to make a change. Working side by side, no out or inside. Together we can make that change. With a few or many, with a lot or not any, together we can make that change. I want my life to make a difference. I want my life to make a change. I want my life to do some good here. I want my life to make a change. Crossing the great divide, joy and peace will abide. Together we can make that change. Jesus is our peace, all the fighting will cease. Together we can make that change. I want my life to make a difference. I want my life to make a change. I want my life do some good here. I want my life to make a change. We're the citizens with the saints, with the sunshine, with the rain, we're the joy, with the pain, and yeah, we're the change. You get the sick and fed the poor, you love the rotten to the core, through us you will do more, yeah, you're the change. I want my life make a difference. I want my life to make a change. I want my life to do some good here. I want my life to make a change. I want my life to make a difference. I want my life to make a change. I want my life do some good here. I want my life to make a change. I want my life